Hello everyone. For my three minute presentation, I'm going to be talking about Johannes Gutenberg's printing press, which was invented in 1445 and really revolutionized communication and the way really the world communicated with each other and really had a huge impact on society. Before the printing press, it's important to remember there were other forms of printing. Um, the closest one right before the printing press was with wooden blocks, but what happened with these is they had to be carved out, they weren't reusable, so they were very costly to make, and also when they were printing, sometimes during the process the wood would get split and they'd have to remake it, so really it wasn't the most practical form of printing. So for the most part, books were few and far between, a lot, mostly just the Bible, and they were all written in Latin, which was really the language of educated people. So mostly the only people who really read books or had books um, were the clergy or the monks or the priests. They all had their own books to read. And the regular people, the lay people, had to really be at their mercy to get their information. Now after the printing press was invented, it was a movable type that was able to be reused it was metal, so it didn't break inside the press. And it really revolutionized things because they were able to print things faster, um, print things more cheaply, and mass produce things. So we saw the Bible getting produced in vernacular versions, which it hadn't been before. We saw um, books were able to be produced for regular people in vernacular, not just Latin. And what this really meant was that lay people were more literate, they had a reason to learn to read because there were books for them to read. So they had reason to become more literate, more educated, which really had a huge effect on the world. And people were also able to transfer ideas to each other more because before, maybe without books, during this time, you don't have the internet, you don't have a way to call and share this information or like a news station. You have to really just find things out for yourself. So if you get a book from someone that's over in another country and you read that, you can get an impression of that side of things and information about the way they live. Whereas before you wouldn't really mu have much contact or much knowledge of things outside of your immediate base. Um, so after they were able to produce books for everyone, people had reason to become more knowledgeable, books were cheaper, and this also really boosted the economy because paper companies now had more reason to be producing more because they needed the paper for the books. And I think what we have to remember about communications is that we often think, well, there's too much, too much social media, all that, but really communication is really empowering because if we're not able to communicate with each other, our knowledge is just cut off and we don't get to know as much or understand as much and with all these great forms of communication we have, if we use them properly, we will be more educated people, really understand what's going on in the world and be able to use that knowledge to make better choices to make society better.